So hello guys, here we are. Today we're going to discuss the problem tetrahedron from code forces, and this is a standard DP problem. So the problem statement says we are given a tetrahedron and it is marked A B C D. Okay. So there is an end standing on the vertex D of the tetrahedron. The end is quite active and it wouldn't stay ideal. At each moment of time. It makes a step from one vertex to another vertex along some edge of tetrahedron. So basically, it is said that the end is here on the vertex D, and it makes the step of uh, of from one vertex to another vertex at a moment of time. For example, it goes from D to B, B to C, C to A, A to B. Okay. So we have to count the number. of ways in which the end can go from the initial vertex d to the final vertex d itself in exactly n steps also as the number of ways could be very large we have to print it in the module 10 to 9 plus 7 okay so let's come to the explanation part of the question and it is given that it is on the vertex d so this is the initial and it has to reach finally D. So this is the final vertex. So we have to find the number of cyclic ways in which it can reach from D to D. Okay. So let's say we are given it has to reach in exactly one way. So in any case, n equals for n equals to one, there is no possible way because in the first step it would either move to A or to B. or to c this is the first step so it is not possible to reach d in one step so answer should be zero okay so now let's see for n equals to 2 let's say it has to reach in the in two steps to d so in the first step it would go either to a either b either c so it has basically three choices okay so this is the first step and in the last step it of course has to move to d so there is only one possible way okay so the answer is quite obvious three ways okay so the the steps would be from d to a to d this is the one possible way d b d this is the second possible way and d c d this will be the third possible way so three steps okay so now let's take one more example for n equals to 3 and from n equals to 3 for n equals to 3 for the first step it has th three choices it can be it can move to a to b or to c okay now uh let's say it has to choose from this three exit uh, it has to choose at least one okay so let's say it chose the third c so now she has a a b and c to move and d to move sorry a b and d to move so of course it cannot move the d vertex in its second last step because in the last step she has to move in the into the d vertex okay so basically there are now only two possible ways here to select and here there were three so therefore the answer would be 6 so from the first three examples for n equals to 1 n equals to 2 n equals to 3 we can say that okay we can say that the second most vertex or the first most step and the second last vertex can never be d okay so d 
at this position is never possible so by remembering this fact in our mind let us start to solve for n equals to 4 for n equals to 4 so let's say 1 2 3 and 4 so we have to fill this three columns okay so this problem can be divided into two parts the first one would be not selecting d at here and selecting d at the second position okay so let us come to the first part so if we uh, if we select d over here if we select d over here so the first container can be filled in a b and c so there are three possible ways and the second container should be selected in one possible way as it is d and the third container should be selected in other three ways a b and c okay so basically nine ways over here and for this process uh, we can select a b and c in the first container in the second container we have to select from a or b it cannot be d okay and in the third container we can of course select other two uh, for example if we selected a over here and b over here we have other two options c and a over here okay so two so basically this will give 12 okay so as a basic rule of pnc the number of ways to do some work is adding the parts of them is 12 plus 9 is 21 so we can complete the cyclic ways to move along the tetrahedron in 21 ways so now uh, this is a native approach and what can be the mathematical equation that we can get or the recursive equation that we can apply for our dp so let us see so let us define our function f such that the start position is d and the end position has to be d and it has to be completed in n parts okay in n ways n steps sorry so f of this equals to f of now let's say we moved to position number a in the first step and we all have to reach d and now the steps would be n minus 1 okay so there are basically n minus 1 ways to do if the end has reached the vertex a okay and this is fixed of course plus f of it if it is reached b vertex then it would be this and in case it would reach c vertex then it would be this so the problem is divided into other three sub problems okay as this would be fixed we can ignore just the end part okay so f of d comma n equals to f of a comma n minus 1 plus f of b comma n minus 1 for f of plus f of c comma n minus 1 okay so this would be our final recursive dp equation okay so now let's come to the implementation part okay one more thing over here that uh, the value of n is extremely large n equals to 10 raised to 7 over here so basically if we apply the recursive dp so there are chances that memory memory will exceed and it will result in the into the stack overflow okay so we have to uh, apply iterative dp over here and let's see how we can apply so let us come to the 
implementation part of our code so what can we do is we can apply two approaches either recursive db or or iterative db so recursive db can result into the stack overflow and memory limit exceed so therefore what we will do over here is apply iterative db so we will treat vertex t as 1 and all other abc as 0 what what it will basically do it will reduce the memory consumption by half so therefore we will treat d as 1 and all other as 0 so also at 0 steps we have only one way to reach at d that is d to d therefore uh, dp of 1 comma 0 we will consider it as 1 and now here we will apply our equation and solve and at last we will see out the phase for n steps okay so now this is the recursive version of the same so what it has resulted into let's see it has resulted into memory limit exceed in first step itself therefore we will prevent the recursive part over here and try to apply the iterative db over here 